This, folks, is what's causing the majority of your slices out there. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching. This is another Be Better Golf instructor spotlight. Did these videos a long while ago, and I'm back at it again. Because usually when I watch YouTube videos about golf, uh, it's pretty rare for me to see stuff that really clicks with uh, what I think about the golf swing now. But it happened recently. Uh, just a couple of months ago, I saw a video with Bill Canodal. He's got just a few videos on his YouTube channel, really small channel. But uh, he said a few things in some of the videos that seemed like things that I wanted to hear more about. And uh, so I asked Bill to do a video for us Be Better Golfers about the transition to help, especially with slicing, really just coming way out of sequence. That's why a lot of times I don't say over the top. Most of the time, in my opinion, it's, it's a problem of being way out of sequence and firing something when it shouldn't be going yet. So uh, Bill's gonna explain more in this video. See what you think and I'll be back after this video. What's up folks, Bill Canodal here from Winstar Golf Academy. Hey, we got the gears up and I thought it'd be a good time to show people what causes your slice. Most of the people out there, 80, probably 80, 85% of the people that come here to the academy slice the ball. Everyone pretty much has the same characteristics on why they do. And the biggest thing is most people do know that they slice. And so they actually take measures into their own hands to make themselves play that slice. And really what it does is it makes matters worse. So I've got a tour player here on the left side. And I've got uh, just a good example of a slicer here on the right. And you'll see some major differences that I want to show both in the setup and also in the golf swing that I think can help you people that slice get a better understanding of why you do it and how to fix it. All right, so let's move on to the golf swing. We'll take the tour player first, okay? So let's get up to the top of the backswing. Now, a good backswing, you want to have your hands and arms. You want to have your hands just outside your trail shoulder when you go back. Don't want to have the arms going too far behind the body. If that happens, the first thing that's going to happen is you're going to throw the club and throw your arms back out in front of your body to get the arms back where they should be. So if you notice here when he gets up to the top, not a terrible backswing. His hands and arms are right up over his right shoulder. But the biggest thing I can tell you slicers out there that are listening to this is tour players keep their body closed on the downswing. Amateurs and slicers open their body really fast on the downswing. What do I mean by that? If you look at this tour player's shoulder angle, he's going to keep his body pretty much in the same position as he comes down, and he's going to swing his arms down. So he's trying to hold his body basically closed so this line here and his hip line do not spin and turn left. So you'll see how those lines are going to point out to the right for a long time, especially the shoulder line. And his arms and hands are going to drop. Now, because our arms are attached to our shoulders, obviously that's going to make our shoulders move as they travel down. But he's not consciously trying to turn and rotate back towards the target. These shoulders are staying very closed. This club is halfway down. His target is this way here. And his shoulders are still pointing way out here to the right. Conversely, look at, compare that to the amateur. The first thing the amateur is going to do is rotate his body towards the target. Watch the knees. Right knee kicks in, hips are going to start to spin, shoulders are going to start rotating, and what does that do? That throws the arms out towards the golf ball. So you'll notice you'll notice the hand line up here with this loop, going to have a very big loop coming down. So you're going to have a very steep downswing. Club's going to travel outside the hands, swing direction is going to be way left, and he's going to really swing down abruptly on top of the ball with an open face. You can see how open his his legs and his hips are as well as his shoulders. Go back here to the tour player who was trying to stay closed as much as he could. Now the hips do open. You have to spin your you have to clear your hips, make room for your arms to come down. But a drastic difference as far as the shoulder line. Look at this. This is back to parallel to the target line. Shoulders here are wide open. This is what the majority of you slicers look like when you come into the golf ball. Let's look at it from the above angle a little bit. And I think you can see an even bigger drastic difference here. All right, so let's get both of these up to the top of the backswing again. Again, the amateur didn't make, it wasn't a very bad backswing. 
pretty decent. Makes a nice turn. Here's the shoulder line here. Turned his left shoulder behind the golf ball. Tour player's got his sh shoulder right on the golf ball. The hardest part of golf is, to me, in my opinion, is a transition because we're facing, we're not facing the target. We're facing in a different direction than the target. So the target's over here to our left. So common sense would tell us, hey, I got to turn my body towards the target to hit this ball. But in reality, what we want to do, and what you'll see all great players do, is they, they do not turn first off coming down. They want to keep this closed off angle as long as they can on the downswing. Particularly look at his shoulder angle here. As I mentioned before, the shoulders are going to stay pointing out to the right. The arms are going to move down first. I know this tour player personally. He's trying to hold his body in this position and swing his arms down as fast as he can. Now again, as I mentioned, when the arms when the arms come down, they're attached to your shoulders. That is going to make your shoulders move. But when he comes back into the golf ball, those shoulders are square. Conversely, look at the amateur. Targets to the left. I better swing left. This, folks, is what's causing the majority of your slices out there. Rotating the body as fast as you can to the left, which throws everything out over the top of the plane line and comes down across the golf ball. Big thanks to Bill for filming that video for us. We're going to try to get more videos out of Bill for Be Better Golf coming up soon. If you guys would like, go over to his channel and hit the subscribe button. That should motivate him to make more videos. He's got a lot of uh, really interesting thoughts. I'd like to see him get motivated to make even more compelling golf videos. Click the subscribe button on this channel somewhere below the box. Talk to you soon. Bye.